In the previous video, we built this function here, which gets a phrase as input, so a string, and if you execute the function, it will return that version of the string. Now, uh, the output of the program that we are building in this section is going to ask for these phrases over and over again, as in the form of user input. So we are talking about getting user input from the user. And since that is happening, repeatedly, we have a hint here that we're talking about a loop. And since this loop, so when the user enters uh, backslash end, the loop ends with um, that string, that means we're talking about a conditional loop. And that makes us think about while loops, because while loops work on a condition basis. So let's say the while loop will run all the time uh, so uh, it will ask for user input. Input, say something, a colon and make some space there just for decoration. So what happens if the user enters some input? Hmm. Well, first we want to check if that input, if that user input is actually the special string end. If that is the case, we want to break the loop. Else, uh, what we want to do otherwise? Hmm. So you saw those sentences uh, there. They, they looked like a list. So it was several of them. Uh, that means we're, we're talking about having a bunch of items. And when you think about many items, you think about lists. So maybe we want to store those phrases that the user enters in a list. How can we do that? Well, we can do that by starting with an, an empty list outside the loop. So Python will execute the function definition. This we don't need it anymore because we just used it when we tested the function. Uh, so once the function definition is read by Python, we are not calling the function here. Uh, we are going to create an empty list and then start the loop. The user will be prompted with a message. If a string that the user enters is this, we're going to break everything. So the loop will end. Else, if that string is not what user entered, else we want to append the user string, so user input, into the results list. So at the end of the loop, so I un unintended here, this is after the loop terminates, which happens only when the break happens. So when the user enters this, after the loop terminates, we're going to have a list with lots of data. So print results. How are you? Weather is good and end. And this is what we got. Okay, I know. Uh, these are the strings that the user entered. So how can we get the actual strings? Well, that is very easy. Here we are appending to the list the row strings that the user entered. Uh, but we have a function that can convert those strings into sentences. So let's use that function. So we're going to append the output of the function. To get the output, you need to call the function. To call the function, you, you need an input for the function. The input here is the user input. Just like that, execute again. And, and we got this output, as we expected. So we are making good progress. However, we don't want a list output here. We just want a string output without those square brackets. So how can we actually merge or concatenate all these strings to make a single text as a string? Let's do that in the next video.